destroy those British. Sir, the commander ordered to retreat. What? Damn it. Those stupid commanders. France will soon fall under their charge. So, Chambro, why does the commander order to retreat at this critical moment? Well, I think France is in trouble right now. Go ahead and tell everyone to sail back to Paris, we have to be quick. Yes, sir. Will France survive? Oh my God. God bless France. Commander Aldrich, we are about to reach Versailles. All right. It's our honor to protect the king. Everyone, faster? Wow. It's King Louis XVI. Welcome to my party, everyone. It's me who ought to be here. Everyone, please enjoy your meal. Sorry, we have to leave for a while, but please take your time and enjoy with the party and food. <laughs> Anyone who is running will be killed. Surrender. I will not give up my rights. Give me liberty or death. Okay, then all of you will be dead. Hold on. Let them pass. No way. I'm here for the king's order. I'm the French Marshal Comte de Rochambeau. Here I demand you to let them pass. No further words. Then you should explain this to the king. Father. Long time no see. But what's exactly happened in here? It's better to ask these men, Orleans. It's all King's fault, we were forced to revolt because we are Hungary. King kept putting heavy taxes on products, leaving us to poverty and starvation. But we just fought on American Revolution and Seven Years War, it's true that we are out of budget. But how did the King and Marie Antoinette still living in such lavish lifestyle? But we don't even have enough money to buy bread. Meanwhile, the noblemen never pay their taxes. Sorry, I don't really believe it. Orleans, it's true that our government did not manage a great job. We are the second rank of the national legislature, but the assemble voting was based on power. Okay, father, I believe you. Let's ask the king directly then. Yes, we can definitely do that. And these commoners, I will protect you guys with the honors of Lafayette family. Secure them to leave. Thanks. Okay, I will lead you to the king's house. It's a little bit of confusing to understand what my father and General Lafayette said, but I still take them to the king next day. My lord. I've taken them to here. It's my pleasure to have all of you here today. Sir Rochambeau and Lafayette, let's have a meal to celebrate our victory against British. No problem. But my lord, we have something else to tell today. Oh, okay. Then tell me about it. My lord, our economy had a huge budget deficit. People were suffering from starvation. The state general had broken. It's our job right now to fix it. Mirabeau. You are just a little old, everything went great. Plus I already demanded our new finance minister, it will take a certain amount of time to fix it, so no worry. I'm not sure who the new finance minister was, but one thing I'm for sure is that it's a problem that we all have to face, not just one individual person. Sir so don't know copyright Mirabeau, you just worry too much. People like you kept talking about how people suffering from starvations, but we are getting better at least. But certainly I don't see any difference. My lord. Paris peasants stormed the Bastille and slowly approaching to Versailles. Also there were about 500 women marching toward Versailles. What? Those damn rebels. Lafayette took 800 men to protect Versailles. Quickly. Anyone who is against my order will immediately put to death. Sorry, my lord, I couldn't manage it. Everyone. Now is not the time to hanging around. First, we have to restore order, and Uncle Lafayette, it's up to you. 
Orleans, you are right. And also my lord, in order to preserve French monarchy at this moment, the royal family must give up certain powers. All right, I will take it for right now. And if anyone wants more food, just let them eat cake. Okay, we did it. Now we must relocate our king back to Paris, because there still are some radical parts of our government remained. The following month we relocated our king to Paris, dealing the uprising radical opponents like Girondins and Jacobins. The campaign struggling until Mirabeau, on our side, died. Robespierre, what am I here for? I'm the king. What you wanna do? Oh, my king, we just wanted to invite you to a party tomorrow. No worry. What party? My king, no worry. Take him back to the palace. Yes, sir. Now, we have to talk some real things. Robespierre, what you gonna do with the king? If you gonna kill him, then I recommend you give up this idea. Do you think that you have such power to do so? What are you gonna do? Revolt? Don't test my passion. If you gonna do anything with the king, don't feel regret of choosing that option. Now, Aunt Juan Barnave, it's her turn. Robespierre, you are getting too far away from our liberty, everyone. Jacobins are trying to dominate the government. We must go against them. Did you hear that? Everyone, in Juan Barnave is the enemy standing on our path towards the Federation. Get him. Robespierre, you will eventually be punished. Flints will be there to against you as always. Take him away. Robespierre, why are you punish your allies of Federation? Do you want him to be a dictator? Jacques-Pierre Brissot, it's now your turn in jail. Take care of yourself. Lafayette and other constitutional monarchy moderates will get you. Send all of them to guillotine tomorrow. Sentence all of the Girondins. And now if anyone who refused to obey the orders of Jacobins, he will be dead. Aldrich, you are in charge of execution for tomorrow. Now, clear. Yes, sir. Robespierre's domination of government did not last very long, he died during the Thermidorian reaction. Leaving power by directory, until my superior, a man called Napoleon, comes. <laughs>